Full-time RV living is an incredible adventure, but if we're being honest, it can sometimes be lonely out here on the road. Moving from place to place is exhilarating, but it also means constantly saying goodbye, and after our summer on the move, we started to feel the impact of that isolation. So we took a detour to reconnect to find our people, heading to a Brinkley owners meetup in Granby, Colorado, where everything changed. This week, we share how an incredible RV community came together to lift each other up. We made friendships we know will last for years, laughing, sweating, exploring, and creating memories that truly make this lifestyle worth it. From a boat ride on Lake Granby to epic hikes and potluck dinners, the connections we made here turned that feeling of loneliness into one of belonging. So is full-time RV living worth it? Let's dive into what it means to find your community on the road and how this amazing group of Brinkley owners showed us how to turn a journey into a home. Go Brinkley! Okay guys, let's get real for a minute. Sometimes being on the road full time can honestly get a little bit lonely. Yeah, when we were traveling and moving every seven days and been seeing anybody for a while prior to the rally, we were getting lonely. Not so, yeah, not only were we getting lonely, but we were moving too fast. And so we decided to book a Brinkley Owners Meetup and it was the best. Oh my gosh, it exceeded all of my expectations. We're actually getting ready to go grab some barbecue that, uh, with some people that we met. The meetup was just less than a week ago. We wanted to take some time to reflect because so many amazing things happened that we want to share with you and uh, introduce you to some amazing people that we got to meet. Yeah, our neighbors next to us are like, one goal was to meet another couple that we just clicked and could be friends with and that we would stay in touch with and just continue to have that friendship. And it happened to be our neighbors who also got there early. Sometimes the universe just puts the right people in your lap at the right time for sure. And I am so blessed and so grateful that that was the case. But on top of just that one couple, we met so many amazing Oh my couples, gosh. So many like-minded individuals and it was fabulous. It all started actually with the the first night one of those amazing couples hosted a I think it was like a wine and whiskey tasting mm -hmm. but it was basically just sort of like a campfire party and everybody was gathered around and it was a BYOB and situation and what yeah. happened? Okay, come to our surprise. <laughs> yeah, so obviously this is not why we went. We genuinely needed connections and wanted to make friends, which is why we didn't film a ton of it, and we're sharing it with you now. And we didn't really put it out there other than the group that we were going. We haven't shared it with our you guys, our followers at this point. And so we didn't really anticipate anybody was going to know who we were when we got there. Our channel, no, like I didn't we didn't that at all. So we go to the meet and greet. And even at check-in earlier that afternoon, and everybody was like, Mandy, Sydney, yeah. let's be fit, we watch you. And we were like, and they were like starstruck. And yeah. really I was telling her at the end of it, I go, just as I'm sure it was cool for them to meet us, it oh, was so it was, cool. I promise it was way cooler for us to it meet was, you. Yeah, like, I was like, we met real life followers. Uh, that, it just, so here's the thing, like when you're living on the road full time and you create your own, businesses we like you know for me the YouTube for her the fitness app and you're like okay we're doing it we're gonna go do this and then you hit the road and you're not surrounded by your family and friends and all that love and support you start to think like oh my gosh what am I doing am I did I make a huge mistake we sold our home we live in this little camper like what are we doing you know you have those real moments sometimes yeah but it was just the refresh we needed and and I say that we do have those moments but we absolutely have no regrets and it was just the refresh we needed. Um, this amazing couple, Lisa and Scott, organized a hike. This hike, we, we did the hike, it was Monarch Lake, a four mile hike, it was just gorgeous. Yeah. Um, so that was Actually, cool. we filmed it. Yeah. Take a look. I'm Scott Morris and my wife is Lisa Morris. We're by the campfire, you can find us anywhere out there on YouTube. But we're up here at Monarch Lake Loop hiking trail. Um, it's up here in the Roosevelt Forest. It's a beautiful four mile hike. But here we are with all these people and all from our Brinkley family and it's just an amazing experience to be able to share all of this with everybody and meet everybody and see everybody else's experiences. Love it. Ooh, oh, I've been all <laughs> Every city, every place
our full-time RVing and I think our favorite thing is how much we get to meet new people we love it so that was the hike and as you can see stunning we actually did that hike a few days because we didn't know we were gonna do it with the group and what did we get to see a moose it was our first one ever it was so oh, cool goodness. I was so excited <laughs> I was so excited also at the rally so there was different events different people put on different events I put on a workout so I got to teach a group workout, oh, which was so was awesome so on the cul-de-sac. All right, so we're going to teach a group workout at the Brinkley Rally. It's 8 a.m., it's crispy, it's like 40 degrees, but we're gonna get everybody up and have a good time. Leading this incredible group of Brinkley owners in a morning workout was such a highlight. People of all ages and fitness levels came together to start the day with movement and good vibes. Coach Mandy's playlist set the tone and everyone brought their energy. Even if you can't hear the tunes, you can definitely feel the fun. Now, if you're asking yourself, how can I build a workout routine that fits my lifestyle? Or how can I stay active on the road without needing a gym? The Lesby Fit app is here to help. Whether you're at home, in an RV, or out exploring nature, Lesby Fit makes it easy to stay fit with minimal equipment and just a little bit of space. Our workouts are designed for everyone, from beginners looking to get moving to seasoned athletes focused on building strength and preventing injury. From short, low impact sessions to full body strength workouts, the app has you covered so you can stay active and feel your best no matter where life takes you. With Lesby Fit, you're joining a community of adventurers who prioritize health, movement, and strength. So why not start your own journey today? Click the link in the description to start your free seven day trial of Lesby Fit. With plans starting at just $29 a month, you get on-demand workouts that fit your life. And if you're looking for a little extra guidance, there's even one-on-one -on -one coaching with Coach Mandy. Let's make every mile of the journey a little stronger. See you in the app. It was a fun group. Yeah. Like, it was so fun. So that was so awesome to be able to do. But also, so we kind of did all the events, just fully emerged. Oh, yeah. We made sure our work was done, so we just fully emerged. But we also went on this beautiful pontoon boat ride. Yes, and we um, met the most amazing people. Lake. We got Captain Dirk. Such an amazing couple from Oklahoma. Really inspired us, made us feel loved is really the best word for it. I got to sit next to Cap. I got to be co-captain yeah, on the you pontoon were co boat with Dirk yeah. and that was so fun. So what else did we do? There was the, um, <laughs> yeah, um, there was, was so many we, things. Oh, oh, we got, yeah. go ahead. The potluck. This was the biggest Oh my potluck. God, it was so much food. It was like 120 people with this potluck. It was so much food. It all looked delicious. Um, I got to drive the golf cart, the fancy one. <laughs> yeah. Mandy's off-road. I finally took the off-road adventure. Hey everyone, this is Jim. Mandy stole his golf cart. <laughs> but everybody was so friendly. Like yeah. just for example, we are the laundry was the furthest it's ever been from where we are. We have to wash so our bedding. Fun. So it was literally like I told you, it was like an eight-minute walk. But it's just like you go, you come back, you gotta leave. It's just so time consuming. So I 
on my bike, I was pulling the wagon, little sketch. Uh, <laughs> like when I went to stop and then my wagon didn't stop, I was like, oh, is this what towing without brakes on your trailer is like? It just pushes you. But anyway, our neighbors next to us were like, here, borrow, borrow our golf cart. And Megan, they're just so sweet. Like just the community from like the time everybody got there, it was just unbelievable. I mean, there was no drama. Everybody None. was just so friendly and it was just like, community and such an awesome group so Brinkley owners you rock yeah I would say that is true in whole yeah. probably of the RV community yeah. and what made it special was that when you're there for a meetup like that it's just kind of like okay we're all here to be friends with each other so tell yeah. me about yourself and I think I kind of touched on it the other day when we went to Red Rocks I was really reflecting and I, I had this beautiful moment check it out so yesterday we left the Brinkley owners meetup in Colorado and it was a phenomenal experience. We did so many fun things. We'll tell you about that soon. But what I wanted to mention was, I was thinking like, why are RV communities so close? Like, why does everybody get so close so quickly? And I was reflecting on that last night. And I think it's really because when you're in the RV community, you're always moving and on the go. And so when you meet people, you're not really worried about trying to impress them and everybody is their authentic selves. And then when you see somebody else being their authentic self, it reinforces that you should be your authentic self and it kind of snowballs. And I think that is what made the RV community so close knit and why people can come together so quickly after knowing each other for just a few days, feel like they're best friends. And I'm so grateful to be a part of it. The community really is something special and it is exactly what we needed. Yeah, it was, I for sure can't wait to do it again. And we knew like, getting on the road, like we knew doing events and things like this would be important to have that community. And I, I was just blown away. Like, I can't wait to host events with our community one day yeah. because what a special group of people that are supporting us and lifting us up. And we comment back and forth with some of you guys and some of you guys are so amazing. So you comment on every video. But the craziest part is that I, some of you, I don't even know your name or what you look like. Yeah. You know? and so it is a little bit different. Um, and I'm always so grateful for those online comments. Truly, truly, I am. But definitely being able to look somebody the, in the eyes and connect with them person to person, it's really just special. Mm -hmm. The event started on a Sunday. Mm. We got there like 10 days before that. Well, Thursday night, our next door neighbor came in. We saw him set up and all this. That next morning, he was out at his smoker. And I was like, so then I was like, well, just smoking. And it was smoking brisket. I was like, mm. So then they invited us over for brisket. And you know, she didn't decline a I food like, offer. Yeah, I'll take, I'll take some smoked meat. <laughs> so we went and had dinner and it was just like, we just hit it off. Yeah. We were friends That's forever. And it was like, the rest is um, but based on we're in Denver now, we're then closer to where they are. So we were able to see them after the event. So I'm so excited. Yeah. And to touch on what I said at Red Rocks about being able to be your authentic self, I think that when people are sitting in a group and you're, even if you don't know each other, but everybody is in a space that feels safe enough to be their authentic selves, it is very easy to connect with other humans on a one-on-one -on -one basis because we, there is common ground to be found between any two people in the world. There truly is. Barbecue? Let's eat. Another amazing part at being at the rally was that there were all different models of the Brinkley's at the rally and this amazing couple Christy and Darren had, it was the 3400. The 3400? I don't get FOMO very easily. I don't like once I've made up my mind, I don't really compare like because I'm not trying to get a new version every two years or anything. But I went into their rig and I looked at Amanda and I was like, had this been available when we were purchasing? we very likely would have made a different decision. Yeah, that back patio that folds down and the outdoor kitchen. Plus just the layout of the internal space, I felt like flowed so much better. I thought ours flowed well until I saw theirs. <laughs> and then I just thought, well, this is just better. <laughs> and I rarely, rarely say that. Yeah, I was shocked because she didn't even wanna, like once she's made her mind, she didn't even wanna look at anything. And I like to look and just keep up with what's coming out. And she's like, no, like I got what I want. And then I was like, tried to explain. I looked at it first and I tried to explain it to her and she's like, I'm like, where is it? She's like, let's go look. I was surprised she even wanted to go look, but. Yeah. But anyways, another amazing couple who let us see their home, who also live full time. I just love full timers because there's just a vibe. Like, yeah. I don't know, like not that other RVers, like all RVers are awesome in general, but there's definitely a vibe. <laughs>
Oh, it's definitely did. an instant connection. Yeah. We found that with like the other couples we've met and made friends with like throughout the journey when you're at a place long enough because you are a full timer and even though it was fast for us, we're still going a lot slower than our neighbors that we oh, see yeah. coming go. Slow down a lot. We have some big news coming up to share with you guys, but not today. I just realized what the vibe is with other full timers. Oh. Okay, so you know how like when we were there there was this really awesome mechanic who was doing everybody's breaks and she happened to be a lesbian? Mm. Well, she was so busy, I was so busy, like we never had a chance to like talk, but a, like a couple times when we walked by, we, we gave each other one of these. Let me do it to the people who we were like, you know, sup. Like that sup nod that, you know, lesbians exchange. It's kind of like, it's not the same as that, but it's in the same category as that, like the full-timer vibe, wouldn't you say? Again, you know, you just got that safe space family vibe amongst the other lesbians. Like, you get that same thing amongst the other full-timers. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Big daddy, beautiful sight. Coming in quick, a little low in time. Gonna catch you just right. Pull you up to outer space. Wasn't that a good day? Bad guitar, purple haze. Stick love so we just got done with dinner with our new friends, Jim and Donna. Yeah. Hi, I'm Donna. This is Jim. Hi. We met Mandy and Sydney at the Brinkley Rally, and our favorite part was working out with Mandy. Oh, <laughs> Sometimes great. you just have the stars align, you meet the right people, and they're definitely people you're going to keep in touch with forever. So we're very excited that we got the opportunity to meet these ladies and <laughs> join Lesby Fit officially. <laughs> My favorite part oh, was on. meeting so many people. Okay. The people across from us told us they packed seven boxes and they went on a ship for a few years and then they bought a Brinkley. And now here they are going around the country. I mean, you don't meet people like this in your everyday life. So that, I think, was super cool to meet so many people who kind of left their life, bought a Brinkley, and went on the road. Relatable. Just like us! <laughs> <laughs> you guys are cute. Awesome. What a fun night. That was so much fun. So for you out there that are full-time as well, we would love to hear in the comments, like, what have you done to find your community and meet new friends? while you're traveling full-time on the road. Thank you so much for watching. We appreciate you guys so much. And thank you for being part of our community. And just remember, you never know when your new best friend could be parked next to you at the RV park. To take that initiative, introduce yourself, get to talking, you just gotta put yourself out there. Hi, <laughs> I'm Donna, this is Jim. We met Mandy and... <laughs> Sydney, you guys suck. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. That's what happens to me. I know. I'm Sydney. Would you know? I'm the shy one. All this is going in the papers. When we got the 450, this is what my family thought I got. It was a semi truck. Big daddy, beautiful sight. Coming in quick, a little low in time. Gonna get you just right. Pull you up to outer space.